And the triangle that is right there in the middle. Boy, he's had a great night shooting. He's taken the good shot in his range and hit as he as he missed anything, Jim. Morgan on the inside. Johnstone taps in. But that's what they don't have. Big size on the weak side there. And Johnstone went right over Taylor. He probably wouldn't have done that against an arc. What a distinctive voice, what a distinctive mind. Uh, Billy Packer passing away earlier this week on Thursday at the age of 82. A name just synonymous with not only great basketball, but specifically ACC basketball. Mike Jaminski, you had a chance to not only have him cover your games, but also work kind of in a coalition with him. Just such a, a wonderful, wonderful life in the world of basketball for yeah. Billy Packer. We really came, I came full circle with him, having called my games in the late 70s and then being able to be a, um, uh, have him be a mentor to me when I started my broadcasting career. You know, we, we throw the word iconic around a little too cheaply, but he truly was one. He'd also not like me calling him that. <laughs> I think some people forget that he was actually a wonderful player to kind of begin his association in the ACC. Uh, was a three-year guy playing for Bones and McKinney at Wake Forest. Yeah, I played alongside Lenny Chapel. They had some great teams back then, and... Uh, see him and all ACC guard there and and then Jim Thacker Billy Packer then Bill McKinney that was a staple when I was playing over the years so many people working with Billy Packer Tim Brand of course uh, Al McGuire the member of the three-person booth and he's been all those final fours for so many years so many wonderful moments that not only he saw but he added to with his analysis no, no question about it. And uh, there's, a, you know, the final four right there. I don't know that we'll ever see anybody call 34 consecutive final fours again in our lifetime. But, um, you know, Billy Packer was, uh, you know, he, a lot of people thought he was polarizing. He just saw what he, there was no filter there. He saw and, and said what he thought. He knew the game inside and out. And uh, I'm just very blessed to be able to have a chance to know him. Uh, and the sport of basketball is better for him. Being there. He was one of those guys when you turn on the television and Billy Packer's doing a game, you know the game is going to be worthwhile. It's going to be worth watching because he's going to make it uh, as good as it should be, and he's only there because it's going to be a good game. It's so important to this league, too, and just the, the television of this league and be bringing it into homes in the, in the early 70s and in the late 70s. Um, you know, again, just iconic and uh, just a, a wonderful, wonderful friend. Now it's been a difficult week uh, inside the world of college basketball as we mourn the loss of Billy Packer. Billy Packer gone, uh, but will never be forgotten.